Yo, yo, yo. This is Stars with Magic, where we talk about the stars with magic. I'm magic. And I wanted to talk about a moon trine. Moon trine Pluto and Sinistry, alright? No. I'm gonna try not to reveal too many intimate details of why I want to make this video, but I will have to say that it's something that is, it's powerful. It's a powerful aspect to have in Sinistry, alright? Okay, so I'll just try to speak hypothetically and just make it as vague as possible. Okay. So, in the moon trine Pluto synastry aspect, usually it, it kind of doesn't matter. Some aspects, it's very interesting when it comes to heterosexual, heter, heterosexual relationships. Because let's say you have a, a Mars conjunction moon, right? But the female is Mars and the man is Moon. Um, you know, that can be a really a really off putting energy, right? Because it's like the female carries the masculine energy where the male carries the feminine. And for heterosexual heterosexual relationships, this can be very uh make things very complicated. So, but, okay, but when it comes to, like, a moon sextile Pluto, um, it kind of really doesn't matter. It doesn't matter so much because Pluto is almost non-gendered, you know? Pluto is very interesting. Pluto is, um, it's a death and rebirth. It's the, the innermost parts of our soul. You know, it's, um, it's our dark side. It's our, it's the line between our good and bad side, all right? You know, it has a lot to do with our sexual nature. How, um, if we personally in our personal natal charts, or if, if one of the persons, if the Pluto person has a lot of Pluto aspects in their own personal natal chart, you will see this relationship affecting them the pluto person on very many deep levels okay so there's that all right so usually the pluto person is going to be the one that is the seducer okay usually pluto is the one that carries the sexual energy between the two it's usually they're usually the one who has um, not necessarily the control in the relationship, but Pluto is so very powerful. And when this energy is activated in an aspect or in a in between two people um, with the moon, this is definitely definitely going to be a very deep connection for both. Okay, because the moon has to do with our inner inner world okay it's kind of when you really think about it number one the moon revolves around the earth okay and our perspective as humans you know in the in the galaxy in our galaxy our perspective is from earth you know we feel the vibrations on earth first and then the outer planets one by one affect us first second third fourth etc so um whew, with all that being said pluto usually is the one that is that sees the moon person first okay they usually are the one that stalks the moon person a little bit all right um initially moon is the one that is kind of like the unsuspecting the unsuspecting person okay and it's interesting because this aspect is so it, it in 
it would indicate that there is a lot of intimacy between these people automatically. All right. <clears throat> when they first see each other, when they first meet each other, when they interact, there's going to be a lot of sexual chemistry off the bat. Okay. And typically the moon person feels kind of exposed because Pluto usually has a lot of confidence in this situation. Even if these people are not usually confident, Pluto <laughs> Pluto turns them on so much. You know, the person who has Pluto. It's like the having Pluto um, activated by somebody's moon, it, it's like the other person's natural way of being affects them on such a deep sexual level that the level of confidence they they, they just ha somehow this confidence comes up it rises up it just comes out pluto is that um it's that warrior that fights beyond beyond saturn sometimes if that makes sense to you um anyway so anyways um yeah so all right so typically as i said pluto will be the one that's kind of like scoping out the moon person first you know they're usually like they see the moon person they want the moon person automatically boom when they see them they're just like whoa yeah, or, or it's just something about the way the moon person expresses themselves that turns the Pluto person on to the max. And it's usually, it just activates their their wild side, you know, the their animalistic sexual nature. Their, that part of them that... Um, makes them want to transform you know they want to transform and procreate maybe because you know the moon when the moon is activated you know in the other person the other person cannot help but be affected on such an emotional level and feel attached to some extent okay you, you want to look at the full chart of both people because I used to make the mistake when I was um, first, you know, and, and for a while. First, you know, looking up charts and comparing them through synastry, etc. Sometimes I would just go straight to the synastry. I would get somebody's birth information, my birth information, and then do the synastry report before I looked at the individual charts and I would see aspects that made me think wow this could be a really great uh, connection or relationship but then things didn't work out it didn't work well we didn't work well together or whatever and um, and then I would look at their chart and then I'd be like oh wow <laughs> Oh wow, there was so much there that I <clears throat> should have looked at first. So we we'll always do that. Always do that. Because you can have this aspect and this connection still might not make somebody commit or want to date you or whatever, right? Um, so yeah, it's a little bit, um, could be a little bit disappointing, but it's okay. Um, at the end of the day, there's usually some sort of a lesson behind the whole situation, right? And sometimes it can be a transformative experience, no matter how short-lived it is, okay? Um, but anyways, let's just say that after, after, oh, uh, however much time, you know, the Scorpio is, or I mean, the Pluto person is, you know scoped out the moon person and maybe they're ready to approach or usually from experience most recent experience these people might just find themselves like let's say they're making eyes with each other at some point 
let's say they're at an event, right? And let's say, um, you know, the okay, let's say the moon person is on stage and they're performing, right? The Pluto person might be in the audience just giving the moon person eyes, right? Because the way the moon person is expressing themselves turns the Pluto person on, okay? And so Pluto will usually be giving eyes to the moon person like... Or like, you know, biting their lips, smiling, you know, just... But it'll be so sexual, all right? This video is probably going to have to be 18 and up. <laughs> um... But yeah, it can be so sexual, okay? And um, so, yeah, so let's say they're making eyes with each other. They're like mm, having a mo Let's say they have a moment, okay? Let's say the moon and the Pluto person, they lock eyes for like a, a, a moment, right? The moon person, you know, might really, that could give them like a major boost of confidence. Usually Pluto... Pluto is just able to draw the moon person. They really are. Um, it They hit, you know, the moon person at a very sensitive spot. Somehow, right? The moon person might not even know how. They might be like, what the heck is going on here? And the Pluto person might feel that way also. But they just can't help but know that they just feel this connection. And when it's a trine... It's just so positive that they're just like, let's just, you know, um, I don't know. Like they might, they might get together. They might date. They might, they might not. Who knows? All right. This is not necessarily a defining aspect. You, you'd probably want to look at Saturn or something like that. Um... But this can be very beneficial, very helpful in terms of like emotional intimacy in relationships. Very, very helpful. Very great aspect. Um, nothing like the square, okay? Um, you really will just be seeing the positives of moon Pluto connection. However, you know, depending on what sign the moon is in, because the Pluto. It really doesn't matter. Pluto is Pluto, okay? It doesn't matter what sign it's under. It's just Pluto. But the moon, if the moon, because the moon represents our inner world, right? If the moon is governed by a very non committal sign, a very detached sign like Aquarius, Sagittarius, um uh, maybe even libra or gemini you know all the air signs and yeah i don't know but you know it might not um there might be some 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 non-commitment there who knows but anyway so when they finally do talk to each other they might just find, as I said, they might just find each other, like, right next to each other. They're just like, oh, my God. First, we were making eyes, and now you're right here. And they're just like, oh, crap, what do I do? Usually, the Pluto person will almost have this, like, telepathic relationship with the moon. Okay? Because, with the moon person. Because, since this is positive, that, that really means that there is no disconnect. There is no... Um, there is no bad energy between Pluto and the moon, okay? So, Pluto can be very... Why Pluto is associated with, like, psychic energy is because it's associated with death and rebirth energy. And death and rebirth energy is like a spiritually transformative process, all right? And so this can have a very, Pluto is just very, very important, okay? When you see aspects with Pluto in any chart, and if it's synastry, if it's a personal birth chart or whatever, you know, you always want to look at Pluto and what it might be aspecting and how. 
Um, yeah, so with, with all that said, um, yeah, there's this, like, telepathic connection between the two, right? Usually Pluto will be the one drawing the moon person in. And, um, Pluto will probably be the one to talk to the moon person. And the moon person will just love it. You know, they'll feel so, um, they'll feel happy about it. You know, they'll, um, <clears throat> they won't resist the magnetic pull okay so pluto might be telepathically telling them come to me you know sit down look at me um <clears throat> get closer right and the moon person will just feel it you know they'll just they'll just um they'll do it <laughs> they'll do it and they might not even know what it is that's telling them to do what they're doing or, or maybe it's just that the moon person is, um, it's like they, they pick up on each other's wavelength on that level. You know, the Pluto person's desires are almost on the, um, on a very complementary wavelength to the other person's inner world. And so it's like there's just this connection that um, people will envy people will envy especially if either of these people are very um popular well known you know uh highly sought after or if both of these people are highly sought after you know just there's so many different things that could <clears throat> influence or prevent you know these two from getting together but honestly whenever they're around each other and even when they're not around each other there can be this connection that um, other people might be a little bit jealous of. But um, as I've said, as I keep saying, this is not necessarily letting you know that they're going to be together. This is just like a really great aspect. So hopefully, but see, this is the thing. If this was in a relationship, if this was in like a marriage, if these, if two people were to actually get married and get together <sighs> their sex would be I can't even imagine but these people when they meet they might feel like they've already done it they're so attracted to each other they might already feel like they're ready to, to do it you know um and they can't really help it you know they can't really help it um these are just both very intimate planets you know having everything these planets have everything to do with um emotion and sex <laughs> so this is just like an intimacy thing really um there are a few aspects that you could really associate with like actual sexual intimacy what would be another one maybe like a moon trine capricorn that could be a really good one that mean that would mean that you would be together for 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 years for maybe for the rest of your life but pluto is never necessarily like a but it could be i don't know yeah look always look at the full chart always look at the full synastry report and get um get um a synastry forecast a relationship forecast from me that way i can you know maybe figure out what might happen you know give you some some pointers some some advice right um anyways with all that being said if you are the Pluto person in this aspect, which you might be, try not to obsess too much, which is going to probably make, which is probably going to be impossible, though. Um, but do realize that you do have this magnetic pull with the moon per person, so don't be too shy. But um, it's almost like 
the strategic nature of the Pluto person is like just somehow activated, right? It's Pluto. So they almost know how to pull the strings of the situation to get the moon person to come to them. So with all that being said, um, I might cover this aspect again later at a later date. I just try to keep a lot of these videos at 20 minutes. Um, but if I do cover this subject again, this aspect again, I will come at it from a different angle. I will come at it from like what it's like to actually be in a relationship with this aspect, okay? All right. Mm -hmm.